the devil attacking your prayer life is not just to get you to backslide that's that's too small a motivation for him to this stay tuned to this video you're about to watch grow in grace and the knowledge of christ koinonia i shout amen i return back with that grace and you see the results speak my question is who have you ignored today and closed the door of grace It has become fashionable to tear down people, tear down men of God, tear down successful people. People enjoy doing it. It's as if their credibility is established around it. It is a recipe for disaster, I assure you. Hallelujah. I have met very blessed and wealthy people, very wealthy people. And even as a man of God, after I greet them, I don't sit down and say, kneel down, let me pray for you. I'm spiritual. But these guys have built things that I have not built yet. And while they come respecting me, I am discerning. Lord, what grace did you place on them? If this grace is added to what I have now, it will be an advantage for Koinonia. And sometimes they don't have to pray for me. I receive by faith. And the difference becomes clear that something has been added to what is upon me. Can I tell you, after this meeting, go back home and together with God, repent from being a contributor to the pain of the people who invest in leading you if you have caused pain to anybody whose life you have modeled or you are modeling go and ask god for forgiveness otherwise a harvest of it is being programmed to your own future it doesn't matter whether you are treated well or not it doesn't matter whether people insult you or not Yours is God will vindicate you. You have your own destiny. If you call me stupid and I call you stupid, who is wiser? No. You see that now? So many of us need to be careful. You have insulted everybody whose life you admire. And yet you pray in secret and say, Father, let this grace come upon them. Do you know, let me tell you sincerely as we prepare to round up. There are people who have come to me for prayer. I want to lay my hands on them. And I sense like the doors of the anointing has been closed. I know that even though these people are kneeling down, they are saying, yes, sir. It is not genuine from the heart. I may just say, God bless you. But sincerely, I know that I'm wasting my time. It doesn't work that way. Is God speaking to someone? It is the reason why when men of God pass on to glory, you will just find maybe one or two persons who have carried their graces. And you are wondering what happened to everybody around them. May I never come close to a great man and yet not receive anything because of dishonor and childishness and carelessness. Take note of this third point. Profitable followership must factor in the limitations in men that God uses. God does not use men because they are flawless. He does not use men because they are perfect. Now, don't get me wrong. Every model must rise to become a model enough, worthy of emulation. This is what we advocate. But this, this campaign for God-like perfection will only end people in trouble. There are great vessels carrying grace and they are limited. And the limitation does not have to be something wrong. There are some, their limitation is that they are not enlightened. There are some, their limitation is that they are not very worded to be able to edit a lot of things. Hallelujah. There are people when they pray for you, you will think it's an idol they are praying to. Because they didn't go to school and they did not have the privilege of secular enlightenment. They only work based on what they know. But you look at that woman, you know that that mama is a powerful woman of God. It's just that she did not have the privilege. It's how she was mentored. One day I was praying for someone and he carried a bag. In that bag was oil. In that bag was water. In that bag was new handkerchiefs they've not opened. In that bag, all kinds of things. I said, how do I tell this person now? Just keep this. Let me lay hands on your head. I had to respond to the way he believes God works. One day they will learn and they will know better. Are we together now? I'm saying this as a man of God so that in dealing with people, 
Somebody will come with oil. He will even come with a plate of food and say, pray on it. I want to eat the food as communion. Don't worry. Don't be too hard on people and say you are at this base level of thinking. Sometimes you just honor them at the level of their faith. And let them receive and trust God that they grow. Hallelujah. A great woman of God, I will not mention the name, one came, once came to this nation. And after she was done praying, the people were disappointed. Because Nigerians don't pray like that. When she was done praying, she said, now all of you believe you have received. And ah, the people were, were watching. This woman, you don't know the problems that we have. Then someone came and collected the mic and said, now we are about to pray. People were happy. Say this after me. And the people said it. And they were saying, now that's right. This is Nigeria. There are many, many people who come and when I pray for them, I say in the name of Jesus is done. You can see the sheer disappointment. You know where I travel from? It's done just like that. And so when I discern that, I can say, okay, let me touch your head, touch your hand. And you see them agreeing. I carried something. Whatever your faith can believe, I will release it to you at that level. I'm praying for you. From today, you will step into unusual levels of grace. Now hear me. Every grace God has deposited in this ministry that you have not received in the name of Jesus. As a result of this teaching tonight, I cry unto my God one more time. May that grace rest on you. Listen. Let me submit to you under God. If you have been part of this vision for up to one year, there are some things that should start speaking in your life. And if it is not speaking, go and examine these things. It is either you are not a student genuinely learning, or you are not genuinely connected. You are just a fan, a spectator who comes to watch these things. One year, 365 days, is enough for some things to start speaking. I'm praying for you. Wherever dishonor closed doors towards you, or lack of discernment, I cry unto my God this night, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may God revisit you with these anointings. May my God revisit you with these anointings. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you, if you have programmed any negative thing waiting for you tomorrow because of things you have said, because of graces you have dishonored, because of dispositions you have maintained, I cry mercy on your behalf now. I cry mercy on your behalf now. I cry mercy on your behalf now. Please hear me. Every dimension of grace distributed across the body of Christ that is needed for your destiny and for the next level, wherever it is across the body of Christ, I cry unto the God of mercy, may he gravitate it to your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, there is a harsh economic climate biting on people, destroying people, by the grace of God and with every sense of humility, you have heard me say it, till Jesus comes, there are certain things that will never happen economically to this ministry. It is a grace. You should not be under that grace and yet it is not speaking. You are hearing the testimonies of men. Most believers argue with God, argue, they argue while they are suffering, they argue, you are done, you go and listen to something else and you are like, no, it doesn't matter. But you are the one who is going through a, an embarrassment that can be sorted. I pray for you. Let me speak over your finances. The kind of favor that you need in this season for your business, for your ministry, for the next dimension of your life. By the mercy of the God of heaven, let it be released to you now. Let it be released to you now. Hallelujah. I hope you're mightily blessed by this video you just watched. 
And if you have not given your life to Christ, this is the avenue for you to do so. Do it like, share, and comment on all our videos. Don't forget to hit the subscription button to get updates from this channel. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. Stay connected.